we want to prove in this video uh, that 360 degrees 2 pi radians. Now, you should be knowing that uh, when a particle moves one complete uh, revolution, imagine this is a particle or point at uh, this is point P having a coordinate of x and y. So, you should be knowing that one full turn or one full revolution is 360 degrees. So, you, you know one revolution or one full turn is 360 degrees. So, historically, uh, 360 degree or one full year, the Greeks and the Egyptians believed had 360 days each month of 30 days. And I probably believe that uh, that's how we came about this number. So, if you think about it, it is uh, a belief that the Greeks and Egyptians probably had that one full year had 360 <laughs> days and each month had, oh sorry, you got 12 months in a year and each month had 30 days. Uh, but when you come to calculus, when you come to learn calculus and even trigonometry, thus you can't work in degrees, you have to work in radians. So, this is a good formula to remember, 360 degrees is equivalent or is equal to 2 pi radians or rads. And so 180 degrees pi radians. So we want to see how is 360 degree 2 pi radians. Okay. So when this, okay, now before that, let me uh, give you one more formula which you should be knowing. Circumference of a circle is pi 2 pi r or pi times diameter. Now, this particle P, uh, having a coordinate of x and y, has moved uh, theta degrees. So, let me use, instead of theta, let me use alpha. Suppose this angle, the angle that this particle has formed at the center and the positive arm of the x-axis is pi, or angle subtended at the center is alpha. Now, before I go to explain this, let me first define, or this is the definition, or I have made up this definition. Now, what is one radian? One radian is defined like this. If a particle moves, say this is, uh, not before that, let's say, this is a circle with center O and radius R. So, this is OP is R and say let me call this OA. So you can say if O if OP is R, O is all OA is also R. Now one radian is defined as the radian, the angle subtended at the center uh, of the circle with radius R by a point or a particle when it has moved a distance of R. Now if it doesn't make sense what it simple in simple language it means. Imagine the particle P started from A and it has come to P. So, the distance it has traveled is this much or this is the length of the arc. Oops, so, let me draw it properly. So, this is the distance that it has covered from A to P. Okay. Now, according to the definition or the definition of one radian is like this. If this distance is R, the distance traveled by a particle is r, or which is the radius of the circle, this alpha would be equal to 1 radians. I say it again. Imagine this particle started at A and has reached B. So, it has, and it has covered a distance of r, where r is the radius of the circle then this angle that this particle subtends at the center is one radian. Okay, so we can say that one radian corresponds to one radius distance traveled. One radius traveled. That means if a particle has traveled or moved one radius distance, you can say the angle that it forms at the center is one radian. That's the definition. Okay. Now, 
you don't need to ask why the definition the definition you always accept the definition so let us make up now before I do the next explanation so let me do a side example to understand the next step suppose yeah suppose let us say this is the number of say number of pence and and so this is the dollar so you can say uh, oh, let me go the other way around okay so for six dollar okay let me cross this out I want to explain in the other way around so let me take first write first dollar and the next column I'm making number of pence number of pence pen or pence so if I say for six dollar you get say one pen and if someone is asking you if you have say eighteen dollars how many pens would you get okay or if I can say that box or that question mark that question mark is nothing but 18 divided by 6 we know it's 3 pence but how do you get the 3 pence that is 18 divided by 6 which is 3 so let us keep this in mind and let us make two columns for uh, say distance distance I'm saying is say s distance is say s you can say d and uh, say degrees degrees for say let me write the alpha okay so when we know that when a particle has moved a distance of r when a particle has moved a distance of r it has covered how many degrees or oh, this should be radius not degrees sorry i'm confusing myself so this is a radius this is radius So, when a particle has moved distance of r, it has moved one radian. Okay. So, a circle, when a, a particle moves a complete circle, how much is the distance it covers? It covers a distance of 2 pi r. Okay. So, again, if for the distance of r, the radian is 1. So, if the distance is 2 pi r, which is nothing but the circumference, what is the radian okay so that's a question mark so I can say that question mark oh, this question mark or this this question mark let me put a question mark here I hope you can understand this 2 pi r over r radians which is nothing but which is nothing but 2 pi radians okay so in other words when a particle moves one full turn or one full revolution it has moved how many radians it has moved two pi radians and we already saw that when a particle moves one complete revolution it has moved 360 degrees so I'll repeat this again when the particle moves r the distance of r it has moved one radian so for one revolution or uh, one complete rotation you go a distance of 2 pi r that will be 2 pi radians okay therefore I can say 360 degrees which is one full turn is equal to 2 pi rads or radians we generally don't write rads it's understood whenever you say uh, the measurement of the angle if the, uh, if the angle is in pi, it's always in radians. So by convention, we say 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. That's understood. So therefore, I can say that 180 degrees is pi radians. Or let me not write radians. So 180 degree is pi radians, which implies 1 degree one degree is pi by 180 radians so this is also a good definition to remember one degree is one degree is pi by 180 rads or you can say so this is a conversion suppose if suppose if you know this conversion one degree is 
pi by 180 radians and if someone is asking you how much is 72 degrees in radians which is nothing but 72 pi over 180 okay so that's the first thing the next thing that I want to show in this video is that length of an arc I will do this in the next video because I think that will take too long I'll explain how the length of an arc is r times theta or alpha 